advocates are pouring into gun shops and ranges before those potential changes take effect. News 4's Emily Guggenmas is live for you in Chictawaga. Emily? Hi, Diana. If you take a look, um, there's no line right now, but all morning there was actually a line at times. A couple dozen people were in line waiting up to a half hour to get inside the Buffalo Gun Center here. Gun buyers say that they're upset about the legislation and they're stocking up before it's illegal to buy assault weapons. They feel the wrong people are being targeted. I talked with Dennis DC, the owner of the Niagara Gun Range, and he says the only part of the restrictions that he agrees with is not giving guns to the mentally ill. 10 rounds is going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, there's nothing that I can't do with seven round magazines that I can do with a 10 round. The, uh, they change it from 30 and 20 round magazines to 10 rounds. Did it stop violence? No. I pulled up, I saw a big long line. I'm like, wow, I'm not the only one that had the same idea. Right. You know, we saw the news this morning and I was just like, wow. You know, I was in awe and there's a couple rifles I haven't bought yet. That I wanted to. You know, I have grandchildren, and uh, right. you know, my heart goes out to those people. Right. But uh, I think they use it as a political tool. They they rammed it through. And I should mention that we were not allowed inside the uh, Buffalo Gun Center, but I am bringing in Joe Little, who is a regular customer. And you said that there are quite a few people inside. Just kind of tell me a little bit about that. Most definitely, it's busier than a normal day here. Um, about 30 to 40 people, including the employees. And um, and you were also kind of telling me about the sh uh, the shelves that they are kind of looking a little bare. Most definitely, a lot bare than they usually are. And we were talking earlier. I had um, talked with another customer who said that he thought that the prices were actually inflated, but you don't think that that's the case. Go ahead and tell me a little bit more about that. Absolutely not. Um, the weapons that people are looking at are pretty much what they have left, and it seems that, to me that they're the higher grade. So. With that becomes more of an expense. Most of the lower end stuff has probably gone just because it's what people can afford at the time. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, Joe. No worries. Thank and you. News 4's Al Vodders will continue the story and we'll bring you the very latest on News 4 at 5. Reporting live, Emily Guggenmiss, News 4 at noon.